Okay, welcome. I'm Eric Brookhouse, the Director of Athletic Media Relations here at Saginaw Valley State University. Going to get a little update on SVSU women's basketball. I'm joined with SVSU head coach Jamie Polinski. And Jamie, thanks for joining us today. Uh, thanks for having me. appreciate it. Okay, we're going to start off, just talk a little bit about the first two games this season. Uh, started off with a heartbreaking loss to number 18, Lewis, a game where we actually held the lead kind of towards the end and then uh, bounced right back with uh, another regional victory over, or a regional victory over uh, St. Joe's. Could you just talk about those games a little bit? Yeah, you know, Lewis is, is coming off, uh, you know, a, a season where they won their conference. They got a ton of experience back. Um, they've had, had some injuries. Their, their kids are starting to heal up, but it was just a great opportunity for us to get out and play someone really good out, out of the gate. And, um, it really showed our, our toughness. I thought they had a chance in the second half to, to, for the game to get away from us a little bit, and we fought back, and we were able to take the lead, I think, with around six, seven minutes left. Um, didn't quite do the little things down the stretch we needed. Too many free throw misses. Um, I think we lost by six and missed uh, the front end and two other free throws right, right in the last two, three minutes, which um, obviously that late in the game is going to help you win the game. But um, I liked our toughness. We obviously working some young kids in, uh, kids with lack of lack of experience, and we were on the road at Lewis. So we, we liked our energy. We liked our effort. Just going to have to get a little bit better if we're going to win those games in our conference. St. Joe was a good turnaround. Um, you know, that program is uh, with a brand-new coach, and they weren't very good last year. But, man, I'll tell you what. They're gonna they're gonna give some people a run for their money. They're they're tough. They're uh, organized. They're disciplined. They they really run some good stuff. And uh, we struggled with them. I thought we had a chance to put them away early in the second half, and they just hung in and came back. And we got lucky. Uh, you know, we had a senior and Kayla Womack make a play at the end to to win the game. So overtime might have been a struggle for us. We're we're glad we got it out out of there in regulation with the win. And you know, we'll take it sitting here at one and one. Okay, now game tomorrow night at home. 17 days between contests. What are the advantages and disadvantages especially I'm sure uh, as a coach you know with yeah. your team during that span well I mean as a coach you look at it as a chance to really uh, get some stuff in clean up clean up some stuff from the first two games um, maybe execute a little bit better but it's tough to keep their attention for 17 days and um, you know it's it's a lot of practice for for an athlete when you're when you're a 18 to 22 year old kid you don't want that much practice so right. the coaching staff was a little excited about having some practice time the players not so much so we've gotten as much out of them as we can but we are very thankful that there's a game coming up tomorrow okay and uh games at home first home game of the year uh just anything you want to say to our fans out there about coming out and supporting you or? no we, we we know our fans are excited we've heard a lot of people saying they they can't wait to see us play we've you know we've been absent from here for you know it's going to be over a year now you know pretty close so it feels like uh the fans are excited and, and we can't wait to see them here and, and give them a chance to see us play the the, the new group the new 2013-14 season all right thanks coach and good Thank luck you. Okay, welcome back. Eric Brookhouse here again, joined by SVSU women's basketball senior guard Kristen Green. And Kristen, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, the team started off 1-1 one one on the road at the Lewis University, the GLIAC GLVC Challenge. Uh, you lost to number 18 Lewis team, then bounced back with a regional victory over St. Joe's. Could you just talk a little bit about those contests for me? Um, we thought they were pretty good games for us to come out you know, and have our you know, first two games out of the gate. Um, you know, we played hard. And we definitely think that first game against Lewis is one we should have had. And um, I mean, obviously they're a great team, and we just, I mean, I mean we turned the ball over too much, and we kind of gave them the game ourselves. Um, that second game, I mean, it was a good game. You know, we we had some really good stretches um, towards the end of that game, though. I mean, we just let them crawl back in, and I think they were good for us to to see what we needed to work on going into this long stretch of practices. So they were really good for us. Can I ask Coach? Jamie Polinski about the 17 day layoff between contests. It's got to be difficult as a player to, you know, you spend all this time practicing and preparing for the season and you get into game mode, you're thinking, here we go, you know, we're ready, and then you have another 17 day layoff. So just talk a little bit about the difficulties of that as a player. Um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely a little bit of a tease, you know, getting to play those two games. Um, but we knew that we had to go into this stretch with a kind of a positive attitude and know the things that we need to do to get better going into season because, I mean, we have our game tomorrow and then once we come back from break I mean we're right into Goliath play and it gets going from there so we really needed we really used these last uh, few days of practice to focus on the little things and try to prepare ourselves to get ready for league. Okay home uh, home game tomorrow against Marygrove College just talk a little bit about how the team how exciting it is going to be for the team to finally return home and uh, play a contest. Oh yeah we're definitely excited I mean I know it's a day before Thanksgiving but I don't think any of us are really focusing on that you know we're just ready to play ready to get out here I know in front of our home court and our, you know in front of our fans and 
Um, hopefully we can get out of here with a win. But, yeah, we're definitely excited to get playing again. All right. Thanks, Kristen. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.